Hi there. Thanks for tuning in. This is Elvira's here helping you connect the dots between mind and body. And I just want to tell you that this weekend I had some thoughts I was reading and watching and listening to a couple of things, you know, podcasts and videos and whatever else. And I'm going to change my direction a little bit. It's still going to be about the mind and the body and um, how you can improve your life, better your life. But I'm going to be focusing a little bit more on widows because I was doing some research online um, and also listening. I've been listening to, to, to people in the past couple of months and it got me thinking. I became a widow five and a half years ago and it's never nice. But here's the thing. I was prepared and you know what? The end of your spouse's life doesn't mean that your life is done also. And it doesn't mean that you have to continue on that path that you had together because there is no path together anymore. You're now at a fork. And you have to make some decisions at a certain point. It took me, um, I would say, about four or five months to really get on top of myself. And, you know, probably two months, three months after that, decide what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. And I changed direction, sort of changed direction. Um, and... I, I, th I think it's important because here's the thing that I learned from my moment of, of or, or, or my, it wasn't a shock for my change in life that looking back, grief is a fantastic teacher. As long as you don't wallow in it. It's painful. You're not the only one. You're not the first one. No matter how you've lost your husband, at what, what, at what stage, it's painful. And you are stronger than you think you are. You are very strong as a woman. And you can cope with this. However, you need to make changes. And that's in the beginning. Here's the thing. We don't like changes that much. We like to have a routine and continue on in a routine. But grief, in a way, forces you to make changes, forces you to accept that there is another you in you that you may not have met yet. You have no real idea who that fabulous woman is. And she's there, I can tell you. She's there because that's how I feel. I had 25 years of a blissful marriage. No no kids because we both were a little bit older. Um, but I've discovered a woman in myself who is very strong, very determined. And also in sad situations can be very joyful. Joy is within, happiness is without. Um, joy is what you radiate, happiness is what you attract, two different kind of things. So, you know, I learned a lot about myself and I keep learning more and more every single day. And with the, 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 the training that I have, the coaching training um, that I have, I apply that now and I want to be there for other widows who might be totally lost and go like, I have no clue where to go. I don't know how to really pick it up. And that's okay. That is totally okay. As long as you are open to the fact that you can pick it up and you can change and create a beautiful life. It doesn't happen overnight, but you can start to go into that direction. And I'm here to help you with that. I love to help you. And I love to tell you what I have done that perhaps resonates with you. And 
you never know. You might not be open to it today, but in a week, in a month, you may be open. All I can tell you is that don't let the grief consume you because that's not how it's supposed to be. Yes, it's painful and every day, every day when I look at his pack picture, I still feel that pang. I'm sorry. But you move on. You move on. Yes, the house is sometimes empty and I put on some music and I do something or if I, if it's 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 if it's really bad then I just go out and <laughs> very stupid I just go shopping at Costco. I need to be among people, I need to be distracted. So all of that is okay, but the underlying energy of me helps me move forward. And that's what I'm doing now, and that's what I like to help you with me, with me, with, with, I like to help you with that. So I will continue to make the videos. I'm just going to do it a little bit different, but maybe, maybe you find them comforting when I tell you how to prepare yourself, because let's not be stupid. If you're married, chances are that, you know, you may lose your husband because unfortunately there is a bigger percentage of men who die before their wives that's just it is that is and that has nothing to do with the wars those useless wars that we're fighting it has to do with so many other things and i cannot even mention them but you're not alone i'm here to help you trust me when i tell you that you will grow and that you will find your way of going again and you will get new friends, different kind of friends. And I, in the next video, I will talk a little bit more about changes in depth. So I appreciate you. Everything is going to be changing my banners, my name. It's going to be widowhood to wisdom because out of the widowhood, comes the wisdom you're so much richer you have an experience like fantastic so i appreciate you for being here do me a favor click the like button click click the subscribe button share it if you can and the last thing that i wanted to say is when you get out of the grief and grief is something that we do even animals grief I mean, if you have two dogs or three dogs and one dies, the other one's grief as well. But at a certain point, you have to get out of there. Why? Because if you continue on grieving, your body is not growing. You are in a state of complete shut off. There is nothing to look forward to. And when there is nothing to look forward to, when there is no goal, the body stands to shut off. That's why so many usually men first, usually men die within a couple of years after they retire because they have no goal. Don't let that be you. Don't let that be you. You have too much to give and bring to this world. So share it, subscribe it, link the cl click button, like the button, and I will talk to you again soon. Thank you for listening in. I appreciate you.